Okay, so I don't know if you remember from the season three preface, but I basically said that I really don't know what's the best way to go about all of these topics here. I'm trying to put them in an order that would make sense. And so next I wanted to do rain effects because that's something that you probably want on your track, but um, I wanted to showcase something which would require me to like put down some billboards and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is cover retexturing. Um, okay, so first of all, uh, you're going to want Photoshop, right? You're going to want Photoshop. Um, or if you use a, another, you know, image editing software, that's fine. I use Photoshop. You could probably YouTube it or Google it, you know, and find a cracked version. And then there are endless tutorials about how to use Photoshop. So I'm not going to be giving any tutorials on the use of Photoshop, but um, it's what I'm going to be using to edit my images. So uh, let's see what else. Photoshop and um, and a website. I'm going to link this website uh, in the description. Let me just open up our project here. Uh, a website that I use to get textures. Okay, so let me recenter this. Sorry, I'm shifting my screen all around. Uh, let's start off with the basics. So, um, if you remember in season one, I think the objects episode, I talk about going into the steam workshop and there you can get some, some objects, uh, an X pack. So if you go to X packs, what you'll see, and I mentioned one of my favorites is what's called ties super signs and I'll show you why. So, uh, we'll activate this. And then if I go to, well, let me just show you an example. Let's say I want to replace a texture, right? So I don't want this pole to be wood. I want it to be metal. So I'm going to go to edit materials. This is going to come up. And if I go to my 420 light here, I can see my wooden post. If I click on textures load new and actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into documents racetrack builder look for my track export project texture folder and i'm going to take a metal from somewhere else and hit open so you can see it did change it but what it's going to do is it's going to affect every object so it changed all of them right and for an example such as light posts um, that's pretty good because uh, you don't have to do it for every poll but we'll cancel this when it comes to something like billboards because I know everyone likes to put up billboards if I were to put a billboard oh shoot that's a very small one let me get a bigger one I don't know this one okay if I were to put a billboard here a billboard here a billboard here it's gonna change all of them and so what's great about uh, if I were to replace this sponsor for a texture with my own it's gonna affect all of them and what's great about Ty's super signs is he has a bunch of different billboards so you can put you know specific images on each one so let's start with let's put one here and i'm just gonna do my basic stuff i'll rotate it and i'll 
probably make it a little bigger. I'll make sure it's casting a shadow and collidable because this yellow box is pretty tight to the object and we don't need this to be some you know high quality collision mesh because you shouldn't be hitting this anyway and if you do you deserve to get wrecked right so we'll put that one there and then we'll find another one and if you double click this um it tells you or if you hover and start with hovering it says it's one by one with legs and so you'll see that being represented here it's a one by one with legs and then you'll hover and you'll see uh, another one by one with legs one by one no legs uh, two by one with legs two by one no legs and it goes on right and if you double click there's more and I can replace let's say I instead of this one by one with legs here let's say I want uh, two by eight no legs so I'll put that one there we're gonna add a new object and I'll put this one here so this one's a little longer and skinnier looks good I'm gonna set it to cast a shadow and be collidable okay so when it comes to replacing textures okay you can you can just go to edit materials and I'm gonna look for my category of Thai super signs and which one am I on? I'm on sponsor for so this is the sponsor for here and then these other materials are the backside of it which isn't that important you can change those two if you want but we'll go to my sponsor for material let me just turn off my wheelbase it's beeping okay um and you're gonna click on textures and load new now i can if i go to my desktop and just open up one of these random folders and you see it's asking again for a dds i can just put a what is this this is a png this is a PNG. You can put PNGs, JPGs. It'll allow it. It'll allow it. Is it the most optimized thing to do? No, it's not. Uh, because what what you have to understand is whatever resolution my image is. Let's say I have a 4K image. Essentially, as the driver passes by, he needs to render a 4K image. And what a DDS is, it stands for Direct Draw Surface. So essentially, instead of a resolution layered on top of a surface, the image becomes the surface. And it's a lot less expensive for people to render. So you want to avoid using PNGs and JPGs and you want to use DDSs. So I'm going to cancel this. And I'll close this and minimize this and I'll put this to the side and I'm going to open up Photoshop. So oh, I'll also need to link what's called the NVIDIA Texture Tool plugin. Uh, because a Photoshop cannot export a DDS without the NVIDIA Texture Tool plugin. So. In fact, let me just move this for now and go to my Discord. I will provide these links for you. Let's see, it's somewhere in my Discord. So if I go to maybe track other, here we go. NVIDIA Texture Tools plugin. So let's click on this. And it's going to open up this. So here you can see it. So you'll want to get Photoshop. And you can, if you don't already have it, you can probably YouTube cracked Photoshop 2021 or something. 
and and it'll probably work so you're gonna want this and then depending on what system you have or what you're using uh, you will choose well you want the plug-in right uh, yeah so you'll get that once you have that uh, when you're in Photoshop you can export DDS files so um, okay before we go before we go into Photoshop I know I want to edit this sponsor for image and it would help if I knew the exact size of this right so what I'm gonna do is now that I have my billboards down and the texture is in my materials this is a perfect time to demonstrate this um, you can see the textures here if I open up a file explorer documents racetrack builder new project final export new project I'll go into my texture folder these are textures that are being used on the track but it's not in here yet that is why it is very important that you always always export because what's gonna happen if you forget to export and you don't update this texture folder the next time you load the track it's gonna be looking for this material so it can apply it to this billboard but it doesn't exist so after I've placed my object or whatever it is uh, watch the Watch the texture folder. You'll see it update in real time. So we'll do file, save. Okay. And then file, export. And then you see our sponsors just popped up. You have to have to do that. Okay. Anytime you replace a material or place new objects that are using new materials, make sure you export to avoid your track crashing uh, i've been through it i've had tracks break on me and i've i've tried to go in and fix it you, you can't just place anything here and give it the same name it doesn't work that way uh, but in any case just make sure you export so this is the material i want to replace with my own image and this is the texture folder for my track so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this and we'll close this out and I'm gonna paste it to my desktop I don't want to fuck with the original and I'm gonna drag this into Photoshop and it's you may see these options don't select anything just hit OK and so we've loaded it into Photoshop. And not, now I can perfectly see what I'm working with. And because it's a DDS, it's going to load in as a MIP. Don't worry about that. It's like any other layer. So I'm going to add a new layer. Let me just make myself a little image here. Throw some purple on it. And then uh, we'll grab the three. And we'll also grab this gangster dude. Oh my gosh, it's very, very tiny. Whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, um, so let me just shuffle these so they're in the right order. Grab my gangster dude. I'm gonna stretch him out. In fact, we're gonna stretch him out a lot. Yeah, whatever. Cool. Turn the opacity down. And then give my three a shadow or something. Okay. So there's that and then what you're going to want to do when you're done making your image is save as and if you installed the plugin correctly you'll now see an option DDS okay so we're going to 
I'll select DDS and I'll just save this to my desktop. Save. You want to replace it? Uh, actually, yeah, we can replace it. And then this box is going to pop up. Now, up here, you've got a, I mean, you've got a lot of options, but the one you really need to worry about is this one. I've tried a bunch of different ones. The one that seems to work every time without fail. If you scroll down, you'll see 8 by 8 by 8 by 8 BGRA 32 BPP unsigned. So select that one and then just save. So now we have close Photoshop. Don't want to save this. Now I have my DDS with my new texture that I want to use. Okay. So if we go back into here, we're going to go into materials and look for our sign. There it is. And I'm going to hit, you have to actually click on the material. Then you'll see textures load new just go to my desktop and it's showing the dds because it's by default it's looking for dds's that's what it wants and it happily found one so we'll select this oh shit sorry 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 you have to have to rename it it cannot have the same name so i'll call this purple three noon if it has the same name somehow it's going to just locate the same texture so you want to give it a new name it won't actually pull up your texture so let's do it again click on our material click on textures load new desktop is where i put it and there it is and then hit apply if i want to keep it i can take a look at it first before i decide yeah, looks good. Hit apply. And now that I've loaded a new texture, I absolutely want to save and export to update my texture folder. Now, if we look inside of the texture folder, documents, racetrack builder, uh, new project final, export new project texture you will see the old texture is gone and it's replaced with the new one so it's pretty efficient in that way that uh, it gets rid of any unused textures and adds any newly used textures and like sometimes what I like to do is go through here and be like, okay, DDS, DDS, DDS. I know for a fact this one, this is a PNG. Uh oh. So what I'll do is I will copy this, paste this to my desktop, open this with Photoshop. tiny save as I don't need to do anything I'm just gonna save as DDS to desktop and I'm gonna rename this fallout for new save this comes up scroll down here 8.8.8.8 8. save there may be another format from that drop down list that you can use but from all the ones i've tried this is the one that's worked without fail so now i have my dds i can delete this call out my fallout for new dds and i think that's what i put on the flags yeah so we'll go edit materials pull this up uh look for my flag I think it's 
this yeah so texture load new desktop look for fallout open and apply and then make sure I save save and export now <clears throat> it didn't change anything except now it's a DDS instead of loading four waving PNGs at whatever resolution uh, I had it set to and if we look in my texture folder again documents racetrack builder new project final export project texture uh, you will see the fallout 4 in the form of a DDS so and ideally you'd want the entire texture folder for your track to all be DDS's that is the most optimal uh, you could have it which brings me to there are websites um, let's say you make your whole track and you forgot to I don't know you used a lot of JPGs or PNGs there is a website where you could you know pull those well don't pull those files out but I would copy and paste them somewhere copy and paste anything that's not a DDS into like a folder and you can batch convert so if you google you know png to dds or jpg to dds there's probably websites where you can drag and drop and batch convert and then you'll have to go back in here one by one edit materials and locate all the materials that are um you know that need to be replaced with the dds um, and you can you can tell whether they are or whether they aren't by you know clicking on it so here's my tents and if I go to textures you can see the path here and it leads to a DDS I click here DDS guardrail click on the guardrail DDS marker boards DDS tires DDS but keep in mind these X packs or these object packs are created by people and not everyone knows that that's how it should be done so just because you got an X pack from Steam Workshop or something does not mean it's optimized or or done correctly so you just want to double check that it's something to keep an eye on if I were to put up like a string of 4k billboards right here in a JPG uh, yeah you're you're gonna shatter frames right here performance will drop um, and I can get rid of these off of my desktop because my texture folder is updated so that's retexturing um, now one other thing you can do with well let's let's do one more just so you can see how quick it is okay so I want to change sponsor 7 so what I'm gonna do is open an Explorer documents racetrack builder new project final export new project texture folder locate this sponsor billboard we're gonna copy this paste it to the desktop I'm gonna open this with Photoshop or whatever you choose to keep in mind if you don't know how to use Photoshop you can use whatever you use you can edit it on your phone or whatever and you end up with a JPG which is fine and then you just Google you know convert JPG to DDS and then you can convert it so here's my billboard throw a layer on top of it we'll paint the sky purple and I don't know we'll throw this on there screw it and then give this like an outer glow or something maybe like a turquoise blue yeah cool good enough file save as 
desktop DDS. The reason I put stuff on my desktop is because I know I'm going to be deleting it in about 10 seconds and it's just easier for me to locate. So, uh, and we're going to rename this the Evergreen Sponsor, whatever you want. Select DDS format, save. This pops out. Use the 8x8x8x8. Eight 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 eight. Save. Okay, done. So I can close this without saving. And now I have my evergreen sponsor billboard here. So I'll just go to edit materials. Locate tie super signs. Find the orange one. Click it. Textures. Load new. Evergreen sponsor from desktop. You can see it changed. Apply. And then make sure I file, save, file, export every time. It's very, very sensitive. Your track can be broken just like that. And so we're going to delete these now. That's why I put them on my desktop because we don't need them anymore. Now, the other thing about texturing is if you notice something like a road, okay? Uh, let's find my roads. Here we go. Road. If I go to, you see how it's multi map NM detail, my shader here. So actually, let's go back to our super sign. Diffuse only. This is the most basic shader you can use. It's one layer. Um, you just drop a material on it. Simple. Now, certain things, especially roads, are going to use a different shader, which open up multiple layers so if i go to banner and i click this diffuse only and i go to texture there's a diffuse tab which we've been loading new images into now if i go to road and we'll have a look at the road and it's using a shader of multi-map nm detail and I click on textures, you'll see diffuse, normal, map, detail, and detail normal. Now, every single one of these require a file. None of them can be null. And this road, because it was imported into Racetrack Builder correctly, comes with all of this stuff. What is all this stuff? Diffuse is the main image. so. Let's go have a look at what this stuff is. So I'll go into Documents, Racetrack Builder, New Project Final, Export, Texture. So here's my road broken down into the many layers. So this would be the diffuse, or let's see, let's, let's verify. And, and you'll understand why I'm explaining this to you later, because you can do some really cool stuff with this. So our diffuse is Tarmac Light Cracked AC DDS. So that's this one. Tarmac Light Cracked AC DDS. Our normal is Tarmac Cracked AC Norm. So that's this one. Now... And then it goes on, right? You got the map, AC maps, DDS. Oh, here we go. AC maps, DDS. So this is layer three. Detail is detail one AC. Uh, that's this one. This is layer four. And then you've got another normal here. You've got normal and detail normal. Detail AC norm. Uh, oh, that's this one. Sorry, the other one was probably this one. So, what are these? This is how they get 3D detail into your material. So, for our road here, if we were to just, if it were to just be one layer, 
like this billboard and it, all you have is a diffuse image on it um, it's it's gonna look very flat it will I mean very flat it'll look like glass it'll be so smooth right so through these layers is how you get your little bumps and stuff so if I open this up in Photoshop you can see these are what give your texture a texture let's open this up here and you can see that's all it is and it's understood by the darks and the lights and everything else okay now why do I bring this up uh, any road you place in a settle, typically it'll it'll come ready to go. Um, why do I bring this up? Because let's say, okay, this wall here. Let's say this is a this is an example. It has a concrete image on it, but you see how smooth it is. There, you can see it reflecting in the light. Smooth as glass. Let's say I wanted this to have a 3D texture to it. Well, what I would do is edit materials. We're going to locate this wall, the string object. And it's this one right here. If I go to wall, cement, this is it right here. And you see it's operating off of diffuse only. Now, if I change this, I don't need multi-map NM detail. I don't need five layers. I just want some bumps on it. Now, you can do five layers if you want to, but keep in mind you're increasing the expense of your track because now when you zip this up for people to download, you added another five layers of textures. Okay, So I want detail, but I don't want to have to increase the expense of my track by five or six files so instead of diffuse I'm just gonna go diffuse and normal okay and you saw it turn white that's because it's waiting for the normal now now if I click on textures I have a diffuse tab and a normal tab so my diffuse is my cement DDS that's fine now we need to add a normal uh, a normal being one of these blue blue colored files right you can see certain things come with normals this is a concrete normal. that's perfect a concrete normal okay so I'm gonna load new we're gonna add that one and it's already in my track so content no sorry documents Racetrack Builder, New Project Final, Export, New Project, Texture. And I want to add this concrete normal to it. So we're going to open this up. And now you can see it has texturing on it. And actually, I realized this concrete normal, <laughs> it, came from, <laughs> it came from this concrete, which is hideous. And that's why I use it as water so we're not going to use that one let's pick another one and as long as i don't hit apply nothing is saved so i can just um well it doesn't matter load new let's try this one oh it still looks pretty bad it still looks pretty intense i think this one came from this road here that's still pretty intense let's try another one load new let's try this one Ooh, that's much better that's much better so it's got a little something but not too much so I'll apply this and close this now I don't need to export because the material that I used here was already an existing material in my track 
so there's no need to export but you know just to be safe just make it a habit anytime you f you replace a material or something save and export and so you can imagine you can do a lot of cool stuff with that and this is very basic i just put two layers on it a diffuse and a normal if you wanted to five layer this thing and replace the concrete material with your own material or i mean let's do that let's do that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna locate this i remember it was called wall cement so documents racetrack builder new project final export project texture where's my wall cement here it is so i'm gonna copy this copy and we're gonna paste this here and then i'm going to open this with photoshop this really opens doors to you being able to make your track unique because everyone for the most part has the same objects so your track uh, i've seen so many tracks that look identical because they're using the same tire walls the same everything and sometimes i do do that uh, if i don't feel like actually let's get a png uh this one this one this one this one looks cool so let me just pull that out drop this here and we'll make it bigger well i will just put a small one screw it so i'm gonna go here and i'm going to get my magic wand and select my outside that's good enough i'm not gonna do anything crazy on this we'll mask it and then i'll reduce the opacity so it looks kind of old ish and then file save as a dds to desktop so i'll make this graffiti wall make sure you rename it save select eight by eight by eight by eight okay once it's done give it a second close this out don't need to save this you can see i have a collection of my files regarding this wall so i can delete them together edit materials look for our wall here cement now now we have a diffuse and a normal. I want to replace the diffuse, not the normal. So load new, desktop, graffiti wall, apply. And you can see the way this object is, is mapped that it's gonna be a repeating pattern and it's using the same material for all four sides of the object or six sides, so. But you can play with that, right? You can. You don't have to use this wall. There are other walls that might be better suited for this. Um, but you get the idea of what you can do. Instead of your track looking like everyone else's. Uh, what I like to do is anything that's metal. I like to make it look rusted. Uh, and anything that's wood, I like to make it look moldy or mossy. Uh, even some, even some stone, for example. Okay, like this wall here. I'm not exactly sure what this wall is, but you can see it's referencing the same normal that we used. It's got 3D effects on it. So we're done with this. edit materials let me see if i can locate this other wall here walls concrete block i'm going to replace this is it because i can see the concrete normal dds here so first of all uh 
two things I want to do. I want this wall to look mossy. And I know for a fact I used moss on Nico. So if I go to documents, racetrack builder, let me open up my Nico. The cool thing is, is you can look for materials in any of your old projects. So I know there was a mossy stone here somewhere. Here we go, this one. So I want to copy this. Oh no, I'll just use this. Uh, yeah, I can just do that. So I don't even need to go there. I can just go to diffuse, load new, documents, racetrack builder, look for Nico, open up Nico instead of my own track. And I'm gonna pull this texture out of Nico. Where are you? There we go. So there we go. Look how cool that looks. And then I don't like this concrete DDS. So we're going to replace this concrete uh, norm with a uh, tarmac norm. How does that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then you just hit apply. And because I did grab a new material from somewhere, absolutely want to make sure I save and export. Okay, so now that you understand that how like retexturing with diffuse and normals work, I'm going to link you to a website. It's in my Discord. Let me find it. Uh, I think an objects share. Where is it? Here we go. It's ambientcg.com. So let me close this out. Pull this out. Now, Ambient CG is amazing because everything is free there are no ads not it's just an amazing website for textures so explore all 1471 assets and i can choose it by type so let's say i want bricks amazing right um, or rough who knows what that is oh that's a subcategory so i'm looking for rough bricks so how do i get rid of this here here we go uh tiles right uh get rid of this wood just amazing now what's even more amazing and i'm pretty sure if i type in road there are roads now what's even more amazing about this let's say I want this patchy road and I click on it is you'll see all of these options I usually go with 2k PNG uh, you, you, you can go down you can go up but I would never recommend you using anything 4k and above so if you want to be safe, use the 1K. If you want to push it for beauty, uh, use the 2K. And JPG, PNG, it doesn't matter. But what's great about this is all I do is click it and it starts downloading. I mean, no ads, no bullshit, no nothing. Okay. Let me show you what's great about this. Show in folder. Okay, so I can close the website. This is the zip zipped it up for me let's move this out of the way for now open up the zip and look what it comes with it comes with the color which would be equal to your diffuse your base layer it comes with the displacement uh, two normals 
and a roughness this would be like your detail uh, and all of that so you've got one two three four five layers okay which is the exact if we go to edit materials and we go to our road it is the five layers you would use here one two three four five now do you have to use them like that one two three four five one two three four five no no you don't you can experiment maybe i want to use this roughness for this detail but maybe for this detail i want to use something from a wood pack or a metal pack or a concrete pack and maybe for this i want to use something from a gravel pack i've experimented with like just throwing random shit in each layer and you can get some really cool and interesting uh, and crazy effects but the first thing i do is i'm gonna pull these five out of this zip and one by one i will open with photoshop and convert them to DDSs because you, you don't want to use so I don't do anything or you can if you want you know let's say shit let's say I like this road but I don't want the white lines on it well shit. <laughs> just take care of that Oops, I shouldn't have done that that way. But you get the idea, right? You can do whatever you want. You could put graffiti on the road. You could put um, bird shit or, you know, and then save as desktop DDS. Save. We're gonna go to our eight by eight by eight by eight save and then what I and then what I do is I create my little list of DDSs so I just replace the file because there's no point in having uh, the PNG version and then I create a little folder and I'll call this, you know, patchy road and put my five DDSs in there. And in the future, anytime I want to use any of these, they'll just always be here. I don't need to do it again. Right. Um, and so, for example, let's just experiment. I'm, I'm only going to change one layer, the one I converted. So let's go to edit materials and the road. And we're going to change the diffuse. Go to my desktop. Patchy road. Let's throw this on there. See what it looked like. I mean, <laughs> that looks pretty cool, right? I'll just apply it. And that was like no effort. No effort. So it still has the old detail, the old cracks from the old road, if you notice. These cracks are from the old the old road because all I did was change the image laying on top of it. And that looks pretty cool. And of course, I can go to my material and I can stretch this, pull this shift this over you know stretch it let's do it like this I mean you see what's possible right and you can do this with any object any any object if I wanted to I could you know change the cones I could put some 
you know, black marks on the cone or some dirt. Um, anything, because they all use materials. Like, for example, let's say I want this, these trees to have a different feel. Okay, well, what I'll do, well, first, let me save this. Always have it, export. What I would do is look for it in my documents, racetrack builder, new project final. And here are my trees. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this. I'm going to open this with Photoshop. I have to pee so bad. <sighs> this is my last example and then I'll show you a quick look in KS Editor and right so uh, I'm just gonna go to image adjustments hue saturation change the hue on these to like a I would do like an autumn-y type of a feel okay file save as DDS desktop Yorkshire trees make sure you rename any existing materials to new save select my four by four by uh, sorry eight by eight by eight by eight okay and of course you can you know I'm just covering the absolute basics so here's my new Yorkshire trees I'll delete this that I don't need I can delete this that I don't need and then go let's have a look we'll go in here edit materials where are my trees texture oh it's only got one layer find my new color trees open apply and now we've got this feeling So you don't have the same trees as everybody. Everybody just uses the same stuff. I don't get it because it's pretty simple to take base racetrack. You don't need everyone. Everyone wants new objects, new objects, new objects. Give me objects, give me objects, give me objects. When there's so much you can do with what's existing to make it your own. Uh, I will show you how to get your own objects in here, but you should definitely master like making the most use of what you have. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, just look at that. the graffiti with the and this, you know, this I took a normal wall and reshaped it into my own shape. Then I gave it a little 3D texture with some graffiti and changed the texture of the road and put some moss on this wall. And people would wonder, where'd you get those? What do you mean? You have them too, right? Okay, so I'm not even sure. So just do it anyway. Save, export. Cool. And then the one thing I want to show you is inside of KS Editor, just what I've been discussing with you. I'm going to open my FBX documents, racetrack builder, new project, final export, new project, open up this. I, w I just want to show you how it's reflected again in racetrack builder because everything is consistent throughout. So I'm going to look down back up. So now here, if I right click my billboard, Click on material, nothing shows. Also click materials down here and then it pops. Can I change my texture here? Yeah, I can. I can change it here. Should you be doing that? I wouldn't suggest it. Because for one, it's not gonna save. And two, you really want to create the least amount of work possible in KS Editor.
you want to spend you, you want to come into ks editor and have almost nothing to do so i don't know if you remember but we took care of these materials and our light sources and we took care of uh, some other materials in our config and texturing you can texture here but why do it here when you can just do it in racetrack builder and then here we see our roads right now when you click on the road you see the the five layers the normal the map the detail and the normal detail and i can i can replace these here i can i can go into desktop and my patchy road and if these were converted to DDS's, I could slap some of these in. And you could do that here, but why Why do it here when you can do it, you know, previous? So that when you pass through KS Editor, there's very little that you need to do. Almost nothing. And so, the only thing I would need to repeat that doesn't save is Reflections. For KS per pixel reflection, 1,000, and I think I made this like 0 0.4. No, no way. 0 0.25. We'll try that. Just see what it looks like. And then this KS flag. These are things you can't do anywhere else. 0 0.5, 0 0.05. That's it. That's the only two things I need to do in KS Editor. Everything that should be a wall has already been designated as a wall. Everything that should be drivable is already designated. My materials, they're already set. I mean, there's nothing for me to do. And so just file, save KN5 track. And we're going to look for our actual track in the set of Corsa. So it's new project final. Just gonna overwrite this one. Save yes. Cool. It is saved and then let's just have a look at it in game. Uh, see what they look like. Cause not everything looks exactly as it looks in Racetrack Builder or Chaos Editor. The only way you're really going to know what it looks like is in game. So always, always, you know, take a look. So you can see we've got our, you know, reddish colored trees. That's very cool. Got our graffiti here on our textured wall. It doesn't look like a piece of glass anymore, which is nice doesn't have that shine to it that it used to have uh, we've got our mossy wall here which is really nice uh, we've got our billboards cool looking crispy no matter how close you get looks crispy another billboard so and then of course our road and you can see these white streaks and whatever so what I would probably try to do is keep these cracks from the old road everything is from the old road except the patchy surface texture but I would kind of want to preserve these cracks but get rid of this white washiness so I would try to pinpoint which layer this white washiness is and replace that one, but keep these cracks here. But uh, yeah, that's retexturing. I don't think we retextured anything else. And then, and you can see because we didn't change the materials of things like the the light bulbs, uh, everything that we did involving those materials still apply so we've still got our track lights we've still got our blinking light we've still got our green light 
because we didn't change these materials. If I were to have changed, these, these lighting effects are rooted in the material. So if I were to have changed this material, I would lose the effect. But all I would have to do is replace uh, the material name in the config. But yeah, you don't you don't need new objects. There's a lot you can do with what you got. I mean, so much. You could you know, you could retexture this sign to say whatever you want. You could retexture this car if you wanted to make it look like a safety car from your country or I don't know, from your actual local track. You just update the texture on it you don't need a, a whole a whole nother car uh, anyway i think that's it for texturing um so yeah yeah like you see people with racetrack builder tents like, very easy to replace that get rid of that um texturing texturing is that everything do believe that is everything for texturing yeah I just got to remember to include the links to the plugin and the website ambient CG okay that's the end of this one one hour <laughs>